everybody. I hope you've been doing well. Forgive me for uh, doing videos while I drive, but it would seem to be the only time of day I actually have to pray or speak to you guys. And it has been so long that I just said, you know what, I'm just gonna do it. So I won't be looking too much uh, at the camera, but I will absolutely be talking to you. Now I'm stopped at a red light so I can look at you. Um, I wanted to uh, say hello. Uh, I wanted to check in and hopefully find you all well and in good spirits. I wanted to make sure that everyone's okay and if anybody needs prayer, to please write the prayer that you need in the comments, okay? Because I will be praying and I have been praying a lot. Um, God is doing a lot uh, in this world. There's a lot shaking, literally, and people need our prayers. And I am just encouraging you to, um, to pray for people around the world. Yes, I'm talking about Turkey, Syria, I'm talking about Israel, I'm talking about Ukraine, I'm talking about Russia, I'm talking about the whole world, because this whole world is officially in the grasp of the beast system, and we know that. We know that. They're not hiding it anymore, nothing. And I don't want to spend my time talking about everything that has been going on in this world publicly to unshamefully flaunt the fact that the devil is in control or at least he thinks he is he is not it is his god's plan but i am coming here to say that more than ever we should be encouraged not discouraged we should be praying and not doing something else now i just want to encourage you if god has put on your heart to come closer to draw to him to even fast and pray I want you to understand something. God doesn't do that every day with you. He doesn't do it every day with anybody. When he calls you and draws you to himself, it is time to do it because that is the time that he wants to speak to you. And when you go into uh, to God and you answer that call, I want to encourage you with a little bit of how to, if you will, because I feel like God needs to speak to a lot of us but we're not listening and it's hard to listen it is not easy to listen and it's not because we're so distracted with household stuff or there you can't get peace and quiet it's where our heart is and we have to get our heart to the right place when we pray to be able to then be led by the holy spirit to either a pray the right the right prayers or hear his voice the reason why I'm saying this is because God is bringing us into, we are in a season of deception. Many of us will be deceived, but God is so incredibly gracious to us that he will call us out of the deception. I believe that. He is a good God, but you've got to answer the call. So the first thing I want to encourage you to do is to praise. Go into praise. Chris Garcia has a morning praise session. He encourages us only to focus on God, not our problems, not what we, where we think we should be. We have to be able, like a good, 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 amazing friend of mine says, is to reset your brain to thinking you know anything and being open to learn again, to be corrected, to see something differently, not to uh, be in a place where, okay, I know I'm right in all, in everything, and I'll just praise God because now I want. No. When we go to God, it's not for what we want. It's to praise Him for He is worthy of all praise. Not, not anything else but our praise. Focus on Him. Give Him thanks. Magnify the God that He is. You know, holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty who was and is and is to come. Angels sing this to him over and over again. Worthy, worthy is the Lord God Almighty of all of our praise just because he is God. Not because our life is perfect, not because we think we've got it, not because we are sinful, no, and forgiven. It's just because he is worthy, period. You have to, we have to be able to go into prayer with that heart where suddenly our burdens take a back seat to any 
motivation we have to pray. Do you understand? When we forget ourselves and we pray as per the will of God, suddenly we start seeing His will. Suddenly we start understanding truth as it is. We start, the blinders are removed and we see the ruses of the enemy. And when God shows you where the enemy is operating in your life, there is freedom. Suddenly you are freed from that place because the enemy is in, has been unveiled. And when the enemy is unveiled, he scatters. He knows he's going to get caught. He knows he can't remain. He can't persist unless you let him persist. Unless you persist in the lie that you were in, that God just showed you was a lie, he'll remain because he can continue deceiving you. You see, I'm not saying we're all being deceived. I'm not saying that we're not. We're all somewhere in our lives. We do not have the full and complete truth. But God is so good that every step that we are in to more and more open our eyes, he can't open them suddenly. We would not know what to do with all that information. He's got to train you as you move along. However, if you stay distracted with life and whatever that life is bringing you, whether it be in form of persecution of any form, whether it be in the form of sadness, of depression, hey, I've been in all those places. And I still am in some of those places. But God makes it bearable. He strengthens me. I am filled with joy and hope. I see the breakthrough. I can't see what it's going to look like. I don't know how it's going to happen or even when. But because of the power of prayer and letting go of my things and going to God and giving Him worship, the devil has to step back and you take your place as daughter and son of God before the authority above all authorities and you are freed from that burden and in return you are given peace that surpasses all understanding. That is His promise to you. That is your right to access. But you, the devil likes to hide it from you. And I'm here to tell you the way in is to push back the devil and go before God and worship him. Not because it's perfect, but because he is. Not because everything is dealt with, because he can. Because he has you in the palm of his hand. Like, the, like heaven and earth is in the palm of his hand. And he cares for you more than the apple of his eye. And he will protect you under the shadow of his wings. He will be there for you. But you need to get there with him. You see, that's a choice. That's the choice we make. It's funny how it, with God, we have to take that step forward for him to thus pick us up and bring us with him. We always have to take that first step because it's always about choice. You don't only make that choice the day you say, I believe in Jesus Christ. You make that choice daily. You renew your faith. You renew your choice. You renew your forgiveness. You renew your, your, your commitment to Christ. And if you don't, that is where deception can hang in. That is where he can grab hold of you. In every pain, in everything you are, are living, you go to God first. You let him do his work first. Then, then you will see the direction you're supposed to go in. It's, it, it doesn't make sense to be in pain and to go forth in a direction that, that God has not directed. You can't hear his truth through pain. You can't hear his truth through suffering or through staying in that place of burden and of yoke and heaviness and, and needing to be able to get rid of that heaviness and burden in you before you hear his voice. God is in a place of peace. God is in a place where your burdens have been given up to him and he takes them. And it is so true. He is so faithful. You know, situations don't always change, but God sure can change your mind, your heart. And then suddenly because of that breakthrough, your situation will change. You'll see it will. He is very faithful. So I pray today, God, that this world has attained the very depths of the souls of everybody listening.
I pray that you would guide them into your presence. I pray that every burden, every heartache, every pain, every discouragement would take a backseat to giving you glory because you are worthy of all praise. And I pray that in that praise that they would find their liberty, that they would find you that they would hear your voice, that they would see the victory, that the enemy would flee before you because he can't stay in your presence, but we can go up in your presence, hallelujah, because of the finished work of Jesus Christ. So today, I pray that every one of my brothers and sisters would find freedom in your presence, freedom from the, from the heaviness of whatever burden they carry today, of whatever their situation is, and in that freedom, that solutions and breakthrough would come. I pray this in Jesus' name. God can bring you victory. His glory is assured you belong to him. Go to your father and watch him take care of his son, his daughter, his child. That is you. Don't let the devil make you think different because of what you feel. Go before God and seek the truth. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.